First look at Android R Developer Preview 2.1 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we are going to have our first look at Android R Developer Preview 2.1 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Let us start with the features of Android R or Android 11. So you do have notification history in the building. If I swipe down, you will see that I have the option of history. If I tap on it, I can turn on the history and now I can view my notification history for different applications. Next up, you do have a quick setting tile for your screen recorder and here it is. As you can see, looks pretty dope. You can record your audio and show the touches on screen and then you can click on start. As you can see on the top right, I do have a notification for the screen recording. It started but it's not working fine. Next up, you have a change in the wallpaper UI picker. So as you can see, the port is not stable and I think this is happening because we started the screen recorder anyways back to the wallpaper picker so this is how your wallpaper picker looks like and you do not have the big ugly icons now you have small icons which look more elegant then going back to the styles and wallpapers application currently you have the option of only one clock for the lock screen you do not have multiple options but i am pretty sure down the line google is going to add more options of lock screen clocks in android r next up another feature which a lot of us would really appreciate is the fact that you can now enable fps overlay so enable your developer options go into system developer options scroll down and you should have an option to show the fps so this is the toggle which i was talking about show refresh rate enable it and bam on the top left you can see that it is now displaying the fps or the refresh rate of the screen and while we are in developer options another thing i would like to add is for this specific build the animations are not smooth which is why i have turned off all the animations so window animation scale is off transition animation scale is off and the animator duration scale is also off and that is because the animations are not smooth even though the animations which you see right now are pretty smooth but once you enable those timings to one second it's not as smooth as you would like it to be another feature which works absolutely fine is chat heads or bubbles this is very similar to what you had in facebook messenger and now you can use compatible apps like google messages with bubbles another thing in notifications you will see a separate section for conversations previously you had alerting and non-alerting notifications now when you swipe down you should have a separate section for conversations also if you open any application which requires access to location you now have the option of choosing this time only so when you open the application next time it will ask you for location access again Another feature which I read about being implemented in Android 11 is that turning on airplane mode should not turn off Bluetooth but I think that option is broken in this current 2.1 build. I do remember it working fine with the older developer preview builds of Android 11. So those were all the features of Android 11. Now we can move over to device specific features so as you can see the notch looks pretty dope everything is aligned your battery is aligned the signal meter is aligned wi-fi icon is aligned the time is aligned so the notch alignment is working perfectly fine then google play store works absolutely fine as well as long as you update the gms apk next up as i mentioned earlier the ui is laggy if you enable the animation scales but currently it works absolutely fine the sim manager might keep on crashing so we have to turn off notifications for 
say manager other than that we can go into settings and then if we go into display you can see that the brightness level is set to 83 percent adaptive brightness is on let me cover the proximity sensor and pretty soon you will see that the brightness level shifted to 50 percent that means auto brightness is working absolutely fine as you can see it went back to 82 percent which means adaptive brightness or auto brightness is working absolutely fine as for calls yes calls work absolutely fine and you do have in call audio working like a boss now where i am right now i am not able to access lte but as you can see my sim is working absolutely fine along with hspa plus and of course data works absolutely fine from the wi-fi as well and from your sim card as well so we can try opening chrome browser reload this page and there it is working absolutely fine reload worked we can also connect over to wi-fi and then check using that so let me turn on wi-fi and now we can go back to chrome close this page and try to open another page let's open youtube there it is you can see that wi-fi is also working moving over to bluetooth for bluetooth it connects to the device but sound is totally broken so you have no sound coming from the speaker you have no sound coming via the headphone jack and you have no sound coming in youtube or any other media which you play as for drm info well drm info is l3 on this build and downloading apps from the play store does work those of you who like root access yes you do have super user or root on this android 11 developer preview 2.1 build do note that it is not magisk which means you'll not be able to use your modules this is super user by phh as for charging charging works but every time you connect your charging cable to the usb port the device is going to reboot as for camera well as you can see i do have 3g cam builds loaded on the poco f1 right now one is by sanity one is by bsg and the other is by marlin ku so you have gcam 7.2 and gcam 7.3 in the building and all of them work but only for images so here it is you can see that the viewfinder has no lag but the downside is that it only works for images only as soon as you try to record a video the application is going to crash and it is going to tell you that not able to record the video here it is couldn't read video which means videos are broken as for the fingerprint scanner works like a boss of course there is no face unlock do note that google has removed face unlock in android 10 so don't expect them to add it back in android 11 and last but not the least double tap to wake also works so all in all developer preview 2.1 is working pretty good on the poco f1 of course not everything is working and it might not be a daily driver for everybody but those of you who like to tinker want to play around with it yes it is definitely fun and you can of course check out the new features which are going to roll out with android 11 so there it is peeps that was our first look at android 11 developer preview 2.1 running on the xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you